Hi, it's Shannon here from houseimprovements.com and I'm just giving you one of our quick little videos here again uh, and I want to show you how to change the toilet flush lever here. You can see that it, I've got the lid off the tank and you can see the piece here has broken right off the back. So I'm going to change this whole assembly, it comes as one piece. Okay, so to start out, there's going to be a nut on the back here and it's reverse thread. So you need to take this off usually just plastic. Simply take it off. I've already purchased the new replacement handle. So I've got the new handle out of the package so it should come like this. This may be plastic on yours, it may not be. So you should basically have a nut and the handle with the arm all in, in it. It simply inserts here into the hole on your toilet Put the nut around this way. Remember it's it's a left hand thread, so it's backwards from what you think it should be. Let's get it kind of finger snug. You could see, here I'll show you on the old one. You can see that there's kind of a square nut in this plastic part. That fits into the square hole on your tank. You'll see. You'll see what I mean when you get yours off of there. Just you don't want to go too crazy on this, just get it snugged up. That should be good. And you can see in our case, our, our arm here is hitting on the tank. So I've got to give it a little tweak to get it over kind of in the right area that I want it. Now I'm going to just reach in here and remove this old, this old uh, arm from the flapper chain. Get it off of there. Okay, so there's my arm. This uh, arm comes with a few different holes to just depend where you want to mount it. And you can also cut this arm off if it happens to be too long for your toilet. So I'm just going to try a hole here and see if it ends up working all right. And I would say that that's a little too tight. There should be a little more slack in this line. You can see how tight that is. So I'm gonna take it off and move it to a lower hole. So we'll just uh, let the toilet fill up here quickly and uh, we'll give it a try. It's still pretty snug. If this was, uh, sometimes this will just be, it'll be metal but it'll be more of a, like a piece of rod and you can actually bend it downward as well. This one because it's a flat piece of metal it doesn't really bend in that direction. Come on, hurry up. So it's pretty inexpensive uh, and easy thing to fix yourself. It's almost here. And I'll just try flushing it once it gets fully filled up and make sure that the flapper is working properly. Flapper should stand up and then drop down without the chain getting in the way or anything like that. Yeah, see, I don't have enough leverage on here. I've got to put it back further to the middle. I kind of forced it on here now. I definitely am going to need it up in here somewhere to get the right leverage on it. So that seems like it would be all right. There are some adjustments on the flapper as well, you can see down here. So if I find that this is uh, taking a little bit too much to push the lever, I might be able to play with that a little bit as well. So okay, you can see how that is pretty easy. It might take a little MacGyvering here afterwards just to get it uh, you know, functioning just perfectly, but pretty simple thing for you to do yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.